the first thing we're going to do is create a simple if statement to offer it a choice. If this is true, do this. So what we're going to create is a, a very simple uh, password program. I'm going to name my Linnaean security systems. You can name yours whatever you like. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to set up a very simple uh, input system. And to do that, let's set up a variable first. Uh, we're not going to be changing this, so we're going to use the const, C-O-N-S-T, um, declaration, because this is going to be a constant. We'll name it password, and we're going to make that receive. Uh, a little trick in... Um, web development or, or when you're working with web pages, you can do something called prompt. And what prompt is, is it's a built-in function. We'll, we'll talk about functions actually in the next lesson. But it's a built-in function that lets us uh, basically to set a code that is already pre-built into the browser. So what we can do is actually do prompt, and then we can ask it a question. Let's do put it in quotes, and we'll say, enter your password. Okay, and now if we click run, you're going to see this little thing pop up, all right? Uh, we get this little box come up, and it says, enter your password. And you got to enter the password here and say, okay. And uh, is that saved? Or what happened to it after we clicked okay? Actually, we can do is we can do console.log password, and we can take a look. Let's try it again. And enter your password, and we're going to give a very safe password, one, two, three, four, five, super safe. Say, hey, in plain text, you can see it. Uh, I say, okay. And we console log that variable password, and we can see that the computer saved that entry once the person typed it in. Now, you wouldn't want to be doing this with actual password entry or any sort of input whatsoever. This is really spammy looking and uh, kind of cheesy, but uh, for our purposes, it will work just fine. Okay, so we have a password saved under const password. Now what we can do is we can do a check on it to see if that person's password is the correct password. So how we do that is we do a simple if... We write out if, and then we have to put parentheses. And inside the parentheses, that's where we put the condition we want to check for. So if uh, password equals uh, one, two, three, four, five. Now remember that when we have user input, this prompt is coming in as a string. There's quotes around whatever is entered in. So it's not shown here, but this, there's actually hidden quotes around this entry right here. So if we're going to make a comparison, uh, we're going to have to put quotes around it. Now, uh, where I put this here is password equals one two three four five. Let's see what happens here. If I do, I have to do brackets. So I'm going to do uh, open and curl, uh, close and curly brace. If you um, should be right next to the P key. If you do shift uh, the first opening curly brace, the closing one should come in for you. We hit enter, and now we can enter some condition. Okay some code that we want to run as a result of this. And let's just do a simple console.log access granted. Okay, so if passwords equals one, two, three, four, five, we're gonna equal some code console log access granted. Let's see what happens. Okay, we enter one, two, three, four, five. All right, what we got here? We got a invalid assignment to const password. Okay, so as we're going through, this right here is, uh, you, in dealing with math, you think of this as a quality, right? It does this thing equal this thing. But in coding, this is not uh, at a check for a quality. Okay, as we've been using it, it's an assignment um, operator. So anything on the left side will be assigned to anything on, uh, anything on the, on the right side will be assigned to anything on the left. We often say it as uh, const password gets prompt enter username so it gets whatever that result is if password we actually have to do uh, three equal signs here and how do you know the difference how could you tell uh, well when you say it const password equals prompt okay if prompt if password equal 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 okay if you say it a couple of times you're going to know it's a test for a quality if you, if you accidentally say it once maybe that's a, a clue that this is not a, a quality at all. It's an assignment. So what it said is it was complaining because we were trying to reassign password. Okay, when we made it a constant. 
We can't reassign constants, okay? So here we have password equals one, two, three, four, five. And if this statement is true, okay, it, all if statements, all of them are just simply, um, is this true or is this false? And if true, okay, execute the code. If it's not true, if it's false, in this case, what it's going to do is it's going to it's going to do it. It's going to read line seven. It's going to say, okay, is this true? We can hide this here by checking the little minus and plus next to that. Okay, so we can just see this right here. If password one two three five is that true? Well, let's say it's false. If it's false, it's going to say, okay, moving on to the next line. It's going to go down to line eleven and execute the next code down there. It's not going to open up this little plus and do whatever code is inside here. Okay, it's just going to skip it outright. Okay. So we can see that here. If we do, let's do it again. Let's check to see if it works this time. One, two, three, four, five. Access granted. Okay. So we entered the prompt. We entered in that. And we did a check for the password. Does that password uh, equal one, two, three, four, five? Yes, it does. Okay. And we told it to execute that code, which is going to be the console log access granted. Let's do one more test and see what happens if we don't enter that in the correct password. Uh, we'll do some characters. Okay, we see nothing down here because we didn't tell the program to do anything if the answer was not true. Okay, what it's going to do is it's going to go down to here and it's going to do a console.log. And this line. Skipping the if statement. Okay, let's try it one more time. I'm going to enter some text. Okay, and we can see what happened here. It went through password 1245, and it skips that code in there and goes down to line 12 and runs that console log statement. Okay, so we can see that if statements now give us the ability to run code only if something is true. Okay, only if something is true. Only if this condition is true. Okay, so let's talk about uh, some other conditions then. What I'm going to do is I'm going to um, highlight all this and I'm going to comment it out. I'm going to do that by hitting Control on Windows or Command on Mac and the forward slash button. We're going to console log. We're going to comment all that out. Okay, 